Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. As I left off last time, I made my way into a silver mine here and heard voices calling out my name, which probably will be Alice, I think, but uh, I don't know for sure. Help! Where are you? Help! Alice? No! Alice? Help me! <gasps> Alice! Alice! Oh, no, 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 no! I gotta get out of here. You're losing the plot, man. But first, we will read the manuscript page. Hunters <coughs> taken. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the hunters were big, set <coughs> men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Okay, is this a new form of take that I have to fight up against now? Hunters? I mean, oh yeah, that sounds like absolute good fun to me. I can barely beat off the big, slow, cumbersome ones, let alone bloody, uh... Hunters. Okay. Let's get out of here. We came down the wrong fork. And there, once again, I say a simple phrase, and it once again reminds me, not of a film this time, but of a... Uh, a TV program. Phoenix Knights! You know the one where, uh, I think it's series 2, when he was in the car pretending to have a heart attack to get out of paying a speeding ticket and he tells Jerry, Fork off! Fork off here! Fork off! <laughs> I found it absolutely amusing. Yes, you have to probably watch it to appreciate it. In its full entirety. And as I talk, I get lost, so uh, I'm going to try and concentrate for a little while. <laughs> So at least I know I'm going the right way. What the hell, man, this is quite confusing. Oh! F flare. Oh, quite a few flares, actually. Don't mind if I do. Some flashy, flashy things, and some swinging chains, and a bright... Is this a manuscript page? It is indeed. Oh, I can see the phone about to ring. Bear with me, please! <coughs> okay, I'm back. Uh, bloody phone calls. I'm sick of them. It's bloody... It wasn't even anything useful. It was uh, one of those things. Yeah, you want to buy double glazing? <sighs> no, I don't. Behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. Okay, hmm, there's something wrong with Nightingale. He's not quite the, uh, you know, FBI agent we thought he was. Mr. I am the big man around here. He seems to be under some kind of pressure himself. And what the hell is his problem with Alan Wake? Why has he got a vendetta against Wake? I don't know. And why is this damn place shaking? As I knock over a barrel in my haste to uh, explore the dead end. Whoa! Me bearings now. I think we're going down here, are we? Yes, we are. Oh, the thermos.
Whoa, I see something flashing. Oh. It's light. It's the exit. We're near the exit. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Oh, come on. You know I hate these type of things. Puzzling. Oh, you have to use your brain. I don't like using my brain when I'm playing a game. I want to just run and shoot. <laughs> Call me simple-minded. Just because I am in certain things. Right, we have to move the elevator. I think we move it down so that we can jump onto it, maybe? Does that sound about right to you? Looks about right. So we do a little bit of a jump onto the elevator, and a jump back off it, up a ladder. Uh, press this one maybe as well, then bring the elevator back up to this level. too high. That doesn't look right. What the hell? Oh, actually, it does. It does look right. You jump over to this side, you see. Like this. And then you go up this ladder. Up we go. Up we go. I think. And we approach this and say, oh no, it's the wrong way. How stupid of me. Let's go back down again. And go over to this side with the steps and say, haha, you need to take it up first. Up to about there. Something like that. Look about right to you. Looks right to me. And then we say, haha, now we go up the ladder. And we go across, across again, and it looks like we have done it almost. There's a little bit more left to do, but uh, try going up here maybe. Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa! not the thing to do, so uh, this is where now the brain power has to come in. Oop, creaky. Okay, if I do that again, go across here, to here, where am I supposed to be going? I'm supposed to be going up there. Isn't there a kick? Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see exactly what's happening now. We kick the ladder down so that we can go back up the ladder without needing to use the uh, thing here. So we can now move it up to the top level. A bit lower, about there. Yeah, that's about right. Now we can go up the ladder instead. And vada, vada boosh, vada bing, we're here. Whoa, we've done it. Brain power over, thank you. I can rest my mind now. Okay, let's climb the ladder. Open the doors and exit the mine. Job done. Join me again next time when our journey shall continue. I'll see you soon.